Midnight Game. The Midnight Game is said to be an ancient pagan ritual that was used as a punishment for those who disobeyed the gods. It involves summoning the Midnight Man and avoiding him from midnight until 3.33 a.m. Anyone who has played this game advises against it, as most of them have walked away with long-lasting mental trauma at best. This game has one of the highest stakes of any on this list, so if the rest of these aren't terrifying enough for you, take a look and see what's involved with summoning the Midnight Man. To play the game, you will need the following. A candle, matches, salt, paper and pen, a wooden door and lastly a drop of your own blood. To invite the Midnight Man into your home, write down your name and add the drop of blood to the piece of paper. Now turn off every light in the house and place the lit candle and the paper in front of a wooden door. Knock on the door 22 times with the final knock when the clock chimes 12 a.m. Open the door and blow out the candle and close the door again. Relight your candle immediately, with that the game has started. You have until 3.33 a.m. to avoid the shadow man as he hunts for you in the dark. Signs he is near include Whispering sounds Drops in temperature and most importantly the candle flickering or going out. If it does, you must relight it within 10 seconds and then surround yourself in a soul circle, which you must remain in until the game ends at 3.30 a.m. But what happens if he catches you? Well, according to those who have played He'll either trap you inside a hallucination of your worst fear or rip out your internal organs one by one. So whatever you do, don't get caught. Actually, it is probably best if you don't play this game at all. You have been warned. One Man Hide and Seek one Man Hide and Seek is based on an old ritual that is set to summon the dead. The folklore that surrounds this game involves restless, wandering spirits, which are set to endlessly search for bodies to possess. You are to summon such a spirit by offering it a doll instead of a human host. While this game can have some seriously creepy ramifications, it admittedly takes a lot of preparation before play can commence. First, take a doll and empty out the stuffing. Fill it with rice along with a piece of your fingernail or hair and sew it closed again with a red thread. Put the doll in a top filled with water, then turn off all the lights. Fill your mouth with salt water and go back to the top, where the doll should have disappeared. Begin searching your house, remembering to keep all the lights off. This game must take place in the dark. One man hide and seek can only end once you have found the doll. Pour the salt water into your mouth on it. Wait until dry, then burn and discard the remains to complete the ritual. Of course, it's probably easier to just play this with a friend. But if you are really craving some seriously spooky hide and seek, then this should do just fine. Elevator to another world. 
the belief in the supernatural importance of elevators has its origin in Korea, where it is said you can travel to another world, possibly to a parallel universe using a specific combination on an elevator. To experiment with this, make sure you go to a building with at least 10 floors and are alone in the elevator. Press the buttons 4, 2, 6, 2, 40, 5, in that order, and begin your ascent. On the fifth floor, a woman will enter the elevator with you. Make sure you don't look straight at her or talk to her, just like any elevator ride. After she enters, press the first floor button. The elevator will then ignore your command, taking you to the 10th floor instead. Once you reach the 10th floor, exit the elevator into another world. If the woman asks where you are going, don't answer her. To exit the world, Get on the same elevator and use the same combination. Dry Bones If hide and seek with a doll seems too soft for you, then you might be interested in this game. Dry Bones is hide and seek against a demon, and the stakes are much higher if you lose the game. First, make sure you have a candle and a match. At 12.01 a.m., go to your bathroom and stare at your mirror, lighting the candle with your match. Let the match burn out on its own, and then say the words, I am aware of your presence, and I welcome you into my home. Come now. What happens next? You run as fast as you can and hide. To survive the game, you must remain hidden. To end the game, wait until 3 a.m. Then, go to the largest room in your home. Say the following. Thank you for playing. But you must leave now. You are no longer welcome. At this point, you should hear a groaning sound, which means the demon has consented. Legend says, if you survive, you will be rewarded with a prize of your choosing. If you lose, a fate more terrible than we can describe here. So. Whatever you do, don't lose.